Hey, what is up everyone? Season 6 of Sea of Thieves is here, and in this video we're going to be talking about my thoughts on the new Plunder Pass. So, let's get into it. So Season 5 left us with a really good Plunder Pass in my opinion, in terms of getting the Thousand Ancient Coins, a whole ship set, a pretty cool costume that upgrades over time, and just some like little things like that. So, I'm very interested in what they have brought for Season 6. So to start off, we have the Forest Blessing Costume 1. So I'm assuming that this is going to be similar to how we had the costume last season that upgrades over time. So that's really cool to see. And I think all of us will really enjoy that. In terms of this first costume, I can't say I like it too much. It looks more like it would be better suited to a female pirate rather than a male pirate. But that's just my opinion on it. Maybe the future versions will look a little bit better for both. We got Ancient Coins, and I'm sorry to report, but we do not get a thousand Ancient Coins in this pass again. It's They, they did not do it for us this time. Alright, so this season of Sea of Thieves, the Plunder Pass only has 250 Ancient Coins. And keep in mind, the Free Pass also has 250, so that makes it 500 Ancient Coins total. That's a significant downgrade from last season and I think it really hurts this Plunder Pass in my opinion. But let's hold our judgment until we finish with the rest of the pass, all right? At level 10, you get the Spring Blossom Flag. This flag's pretty cool, but you know, just in general, I'm not too big a fan on flags. I rarely put them on, and I don't know, it's never been something that I've particularly cared about too much. But this one does look pretty cool. At level 13, we have the Spring Blossom Capstan. This one looks really cool. It's like a spring tree with all the roots coming up from the bottom and into the bars where you lift up and down the capstan. I think that looks really cool. You have like pink flowers that come off of it. And I just think it looks really nice. At level 20, we get the spring blossom hole. This one looks cool. Uh, I think they could have done a little bit more, but I do like the hint of like, you have the subtle pink color. And then you have like the spots that look like petals coming off it from the front, so that looks really cool to me. I'm excited to see what this looks like in game. Next at level 23, we have the Spring Blossom Wheel. Now this one, it looks similar to the capstan. I really like this one though because you see that around the base of it, it has these rocks that look really cool. And I can't tell, it, but it looks like there might be like a water effect within those rocks too. So that's really cool to see. I'm excited to try this out in game. Next at level 30, we have the Spring Blossom Sails. This is the same design as the flag, and uh, I don't know. I, I hope there's a collector's version of this in here, but I can't say I'm too impressed with this sail. It looks like something you could see at just like the outpost shops or something. It doesn't look too special to me. At level 33, I think this is a first for the Plunder Pass, having the Forest Blessing Tattoo. I don't think we've ever had a tattoo in the Plunder Pass or in the Emporium. I think this is a first for just like having a paid tattoo. I think all the tattoos prior have been either you get with in-game currency or you do through like events and stuff. So I'm sure people aren't gonna be too happy with this if we're being honest. I think people would much prefer tattoos to stay a free thing in the game. But hopefully this tattoo looks pretty cool. Typically I don't care about tattoos too much because one, I have the tattoo that I like the most, plus usually I'm wearing clothes on my pirates so you can't see them anyways. At level 40 we have the Spring Blossom figurehead. This looks really cool, it's like a tree coming off the front of the ship with you know the pink flowers or leaves, whatever they are, just like we saw with the wheel and the capstan. At level 50 we get the second version of the costume and this one looks a bit better to me. It looks like the right arm is like turning into wood or something, so that's kind of cool looking. I don't know if I would run this on my pirate though. Oh, I think it's a cool design. I don't, I can't see myself wanting to use this too much, at least in this version of the costume. At level 60, we have the Spring Blossom Cannons. So I'll be honest, I think this one's a little bit disappointing compared to the wheel and the capstan. This one, I don't like the boxy shape of it, for one. And two, I think they could have done something a lot cooler. They could have made like a tree trunk I think for the cannon that would have maybe a match better with the rest of the set this is just kind of like a regular box and uh, I don't know it's not really for me 
But let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this one and the rest of the set. At level 70, we have the Spring Blossom Cannon Flare. Now, obviously we can't really tell what it looks like from here, but it doesn't look like it's one of the cannon flares that have structure view too much. So, I would look forward to seeing how this works, because I don't like the ones that are so obtrusive that it kind of messes up your fighting ability. At level 80, we have the Collector's Spring Blossom Figurehead. This is basically the same figurehead as before, but the leaves are gold now. We'll have to see in game if there's anything special with it, but for me personally, I don't really like it too much. Just because, like, I think they could have done something better, like, they could have had the pink leaves stay, but maybe as you sail, they start, like, floating away from the front of the ship. That could have been pretty cool, just like having an animated figurehead. I feel like if you're gonna have the collector's version of something, it should be animated and have like, everything attached to it. So I like the first figurehead, not too impressed with the second collector's version. At level 90 we had the final version of the Forest Blessing costume and this one looks pretty cool. He's got like this whole mask and stuff and you can see most of his body is now turned into wood and that's interesting. I think uh, that would be a cool costume to have. Me personally, I, I think we've had better costumes. I Still probably would prefer like the, the pumpkin guy we had before, the Jack the Looter costume. Even last season's costume I feel like works better for a, a majority of pirates. This one, I think you have to be really into it if you want to use it. And then finally at level 100 we have the Collector's Spring Blossom Sails. And this is like the Collector's version of the figurehead, it's a golden version of the sails. Alright, let's get into my thoughts on this Plunder Pass. So, I'll be honest, I'm pretty disappointed. I was pretty excited for a new Plunder Pass for this season and like progressing through it, and they let me down. Not only did they take away 50% of the Ancient Coins that you could have gotten in last season's pass, from going from 1,000 Ancient Coins last season to only 500 this season, but I don't really like the set too much. So, both the collected version of things are just golden versions of the previous thing. And like I said earlier, I think the collective version should be like animated and other stuff. Now that could possibly be for this, but nothing about these images are giving that away to me. And then I can't really say that I'm too impressed by the costume, especially since the costume that we just got in the Emporium today as well. So I would say I'd prefer to just get that rather than this. But yeah, I'm curious how the tattoo looks. I'm curious how the cannon flare looks. I think those two could be something that I would like. But I don't believe we had an emote in here. I really like getting the emotes. I don't know why they took that out. So that's that's one thing that's a downgrade from last season and previous seasons. And I just would say, other than the anchor and the wheel, I don't really like too much of the rest of the pass. The and the first figurehead. The first figurehead's also pretty decent too. Alright, so those are my thoughts on the season six plunder pass. And if you enjoyed this video, you probably like my before you buy guide on the new costume that was added to the Emporium today. So definitely go check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you left a like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.